was also closely associated with Father Matthew Kadalikatil, the founder of the Sacred Heart Congregation, whom the Church later declared as a servant of God. It was the servant of God, Matthew Kadalikatil, who advised him to study homeopathy by correspondence as it would help him heal the poor people. Kunyachin was an expert in herbal mineral treatment. Staying in his own parish, Ramavaram, as an assistant parish priest for 47 years, he worked zealously for the uplift of the poor and he could baptize 5,000 people. Hard work greatly impaired the health of Kunyachan and he, for some time, relieved himself of his apostolic work. As he recouped a bit, the bishop allowed him to celebrate the Holy Mass in his own room. Kunyachan had prepared a will in his old age. It was written by a fellow priest on a sheet of paper from an ordinary notebook. A copy of this unregistered will is preserved in the Kunyachan Museum. Kunyachan shifted his residence to his home as he became extremely sick and emaciated. His condition worsened day by day and finally his soul departed from its earthly abode on October 16th 1973 and reached its final and eternal destination. His mortal remains were interred in a tomb in the small church by Ma Joseph Palika Parambil, Bishop of Pala, who was related to him in the maternal line. Father Valerian Simai, who preached the panegyric concluded its saying, We are now taking part in the funeral of a saint. We have got yet another saint in heaven. His words have now become a great reality. People who had personally experienced the holiness of Kunyachan and those who came to know about it began to come to his tomb seeking his intercession. That took place so many miracles and the people who received favors through his intercession were numerous. Within a few days after his, his death, his tomb began to be visited by people from far and wide. And Ramavaram became a center of pilgrimage. On the anniversary of his death on the 16th of October every year, the number of, the number of pilgrims grew in thousands. Soon, the fame of Kunyachan began to spread far and wide like the fragrance of a flower. In the Uru Masmer Shakti, E. Natal Lorkum, even on the victim Malavar, the Vala Pradesh, the Poya Algulkum, Kunyachan de Jiva Tapiti, both him under the Nulana, Uru Masmer Shakti, the Nulam. A letlu vidiai, E. Natal Tamasik in the Adil, Avadi Palida compound till Kerry. Kunjacin ada kiri kena perlil, kiri parti kaya tu pogar illa. Atu pada selatan kana tu itu pertengah dia. Ini nanti le alat gelu, adakah tu bahu mai ni kuno, adakah mau di sakti ya nama orang kanepo unde. Swargiya raja sanidhi. Swargiya kadan dilarigil Pavangal kayendu madhyastamegunnu Vevar parambil kunyachan Swargiya raja sannithil Swargiya kadan dilarigil Thank you.
process of kunnachan began officially on april 11th 1987 just ma sebastian vailil the first bishop of the diocese of pala who took the greatest initiative to start it he wrote a letter to his successor ma joseph palika prambil requesting him to take up the cause of kunnachan and submitted before him a report describing his saintliness Just during the tenure of Mark Joseph Palikya Parambil as bishop the canonization process of Kunyachan began and progressed in 1987 when the cross of his beatification was inaugurated at Ramavaram by his eminence cardinal Lord Swami I was the bishop of Palai I had also the good fortune of officiating at his funeral in 1973. Blessed Kunyachan as a priest dedicated his life completely to service of the Harijans. Those years Harijans were considered to be outcast of the society. and very few people visited their houses it was a really a heroic act on the part of kunyachan to visit the poor huts of these harijans almost every day and to help them in their necessities to console them in their problems and to instruct them in religious matters. 